Okay, a little later than uh, I expected, but I thought I would um, just cover the uh, the ins and outs of the BMW K head conversion, I guess you'd call it. Um, right, in front of me here, I've got a standard mini block, um, completely unmodified, unmolested, and this is the BMW head gasket. I'm not really able to use this with the uh, mini block, but it gives you an idea of how well the three front stud holes line up with the BMW head and also how close the bore spacing is. If I can get that bit onto there, there we go. One, two, three. So, I mean, that's how the cylinder head lines up over the bores. It's a little off slightly. Again, the head gets off slightly. Yeah, if you line it up on the centre, you're uh, about half a mil, maybe a mil out of line on either end one. But it's close. It's almost like it was designed to go on there. And there is a story behind that. So what you do, <coughs> where on the uh, mini you have these longer studs sitting at the back of the block. They are also conveniently usable on the uh, converted block. And if I wind that out here and move over to here, this is a converted block. There we have the two sitting side by side. So what you do on this, I say you do, depends on how good your machine shop is or how good your skills are. But obviously there's your three um, original holes, they stay. Every other hole in the block gets plugged. So that was the end stud. These were waterways. That was a waterway, that was a waterway, that's a waterway. That was a stud, that was a stud, that was a stud, that was a stud. And back here, these were your push rod holes. And they've all been covered, blocked. There are no holes left. Even back here, the um, oil feed for the head. On some, um, on some conversions you can reuse this. I'm using the K1200 head, so it doesn't quite work. But this longer stud, you use 10 of them. Bag of them here. Once you've re-drilled, once you've had this block altered for the BMW head stud pattern, you can re-drill the uh, waterways and um, use a wet deck as you would in a mini. So basically plonk it on, you get less modifications to a, uh, less modifications on the, on the actual head. But you know, it's on the end here. I've got the dry deck water feed sitting here. So rather than water going in through the water pump across the block and back well up and through the block and back out on the thermostat on the uh, on this end here what can happen is the water flows far too easily through here less easily there even less easily here and barely anything over here so on i say it's race engines definitely they were finding that temperatures over here were about 15 degrees higher than they were there and the flow wasn't really enough over this side. So um, what they do is you plug all the waterways in the head of the block and you can run water out of here with a U-shaped pipe, which I have tucked in here. There we go. So and that then feeds water back into the head. Easy peasy. That solves that problem. You can run the water at a constant rate across the block and the head. And then you have um, 
no worries of uh, cooling discrepancies, expansion discrepancies. And if the head gasket does fail, you're not gonna be pushing all the water out, pressurizing the water system, because it's all been sealed up. So, standard mini block with your one, two, and three holes over each bore. On an 11 stud head, you would end up with a, a drilling here and here to sort of hold the uh, edge of each cylinder head down and stop the compression trying to get out on this end. Um, so yeah, block that up. You get it re-drilled for the BMW head studs. And then, obviously I'm not gonna use the BMW head gasket. You can buy one from Specialist Components or Cometic, or you can even use the good old BK450 and you just re-punch the holes. But I'm gonna go with the MED Cometic because it's, uh, it's a nice item. Now, you'll have to bear with me as I uh, press this down here. BMW head on the mini block. Now this water pipe, your water section on the head is this here. So first things to get modified, punch that out, get the whole end of the head welded up, and then um, you get well, this water outlet fitted onto the end of the head so that then this pipe sit like so nice and simple you also um, there's many ways to do the breathers I'm favoring having a little outlet coming off of here as a, uh, a breather on this end and I'm going to use the false racing conversion plates um, you see the mini head studs poke out nicely there there's plenty of threads there a couple of them need cutting down uh, it's these ones here because the, the cam is actually slightly fatter here so you have to cut it down one two uh, three and four but the rest of them they can stay it's not that they don't cause any problems and on this end <clears throat> I don't have the uh, actual conversion plate for the top because that's at the machine shop the rocker box needs to be machined originally this has a uh, chain drive um, and we convert it over so this is the force racing kit Wait that in the light that's one of the force racing conversion wheels nice bit of kit and on the end of it he has the BMW locator lug so that sticks through the plate and goes on there with a uh, nice long bolt through and you get another one for this side down on the cam you still keep the cam all the lobes get turned off because otherwise you have to have it timed to the engine you don't want piston to rod uh, cam to rod knockings but you get another pulley down here that drives the cam for the uh, oil pump and it's just just a bare jack shaft and then at the bottom of the engine down here you have this plate it's a bit hard to see as the light's not great that's it's that takes the place of the uh, chain drive and you've got this pulley that sits on the bottom now uh, I am planning to use the, uh, the BMW throttle bodies a 38 mil throttle body there should be plenty for what I'm doing. Um, and these RS cams, as they sit here, will be used, to start with at least. One of these heads is, I've got this, and I've got another one at the machine shop at the minute. One of them will be gas flowed. I might get them both gas flowed. We'll see how finances run, but um, a bit of gas flowing never hurts anyone. But if I can uh, 
turn the torch on. I might have to stop and then start again and get the torch on. Okay. If you look down the, uh, the port there, it's a nice straight run into uh, each and every port. And the injector squirts nicely down in between the two, down there. And the fuel rail mounts off the head here. With your four injectors on it. And then you have to get a uh, exhaust manifold made to suit the BMW head or you uh, Maniflow cell one, specialist component cell one. But yeah, there we go. Quick look over the kit. So this isn't necessarily the colour I would have chosen if I was buying it, but I kind of won an eBay auction and that's what I got, so that's what it is. But that's a better view of the side plate. And uh, I'll put these out here. Jack shaft pulley. So you've got one there, one there. On there, straight up, and a uh, oops, I get it all in there, a belt tensioner, so you get a nice straight run from here, around there, up, over, and it's round the tensioner to get back to the bottom. So there we go, ins and outs. Any questions? Please drop me a, 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 a message. If I don't know the answer, I'll point you in the direction of someone who does. There are plenty of people who know. Oh, this is the thing I was going to cover, the other head mods. Where this is normally a um, cam chain on the, on the bike, you'd have a chain running through here. So on the mini block, you get an aluminium fillet piece, weld it in here, and it seals off this part of the block and you have a, a plate on here and this plate has an oil drain in that I'm probably going to put into the um, this tube here or I might run it down to the on the back you've got the uh, fuel pump hole um, so that plate's at the minute at the machine shop because I'm getting the rocker cover cut back the false racing cover that I've got comes up to here well it does the whole thing but it allows the um, rocker cover to sit five mil beyond the edge here. So you've got a lip to then seal up and over. Whereas I think the um, specialist components one have a bit of metal riveted on at the back. And I prefer the force racing idea, so I went with that. So you get, uh, where is it? This hole here gets welded up. That one gets welded up. I don't believe this one does, I could be wrong. I will check. Um, and then on the end of the block, I'll take it off and I'll um, just quickly show you. There we go. So on this end of the block, there's your inlet side. I'm gonna to choose to go dry deck. So all of the waterways would get welded up. And the same here, just building up a layer over the top and the steam holes. And then, there's where your fillet gets welded in here. And then these two, you put a bit of a bar stock in, get that welded in. And then you drill and tap it for some nice big oil drains off the back of the head as well. Now, I've looked at this head and I've looked at the way other people have done it. I know they are originally oil drains on the BMW head, if you look up in those holes there, I'll show you. There's a nice clear passage through. But also, if you look in the end, you can see all the way down two said drain holes from there. So I don't believe the uh, fluid level would get that high in the head. So there is an option to maybe go another way with the oil drains. So everyone uses these two. I might wire piece them into one. And then on, as I said, that's where the oil drains go down. You can see that one down there, another one down there. So it allows 
drainage from the top on this side to go down, but the drainage on this side, that's going to run down into that whole cavity. So that cavity will be swimming anyway. So actually, I might be able to come off of the end here for an oil drain um, and then run it straight, you know, run it more or less, not straight down because you've got the water one here, but around at an angle to the um, breather that's going to be on the uh, flywheel casing. So you normally get a engine breather sitting here for the flywheel casing. Other things I've got to do is the uh, wrong block, but um, no need for a dizzy because I'm running um, an ECU and ignition, um, coil pack ignition. So this can get either plugged up or used as a breather, or um, some people use it as an oil filler. Many options there. The dipstick, again, specialist components sell a very nice dipstick that goes round over to this way so that you can check your oil from this side of the block. Any other special bits I can think of? Ah, the alternator. Um, I've taken the head off now, so you can't really see. But I've got a um, a lightweight, smaller alternator because um, where this the normal one sits is just a little bit higher for the throttle bodies. So you end up having to uh, either redo these brackets or run spacers, or it's easier to use a tiny alternator that then moves it a little bit closer to the block and away from the head. Um, yeah, that's where we are. Any questions? Send one in. It's a lovely bit of kit though. I had one of these heads to set at the machine shop and to make sure the holes were drilled accurately, the guy plotted the cylinder head as to whereabouts all of the stud holes should be and where all of the uh, waterways would end up going. He decided to plot the whole thing. Um, and he started transferring it over to the block and he, he said the block's horrendously inaccurate um, but mini blocks aren't known for being great um, he said but this thing he said everything all the studs across this gap here I think were 86 mil and across here were 76 mil exactly on all of them he said the tolerance was, was shockingly good so it's nice to know it's a nice engineered, nicely engineered bit of kit it's got a fair bit of uh, deck height in it. Yeah, this one does need stripping apart and cleaning up, but yeah, there you go. Oh, a bit bright. I hope that was um, insightful and not boring. We will um, hopefully be doing a dry, I hope we'll be doing a dry build in the next week, or at least to get the block together and get this head onto the. Um, on the block so I can start checking my valve to piston clearance. My pistons actually poke out of the block a little bit. Not necessarily because I planned it that way, but um, just because that's how things have ended up. I've ended up, I wanted to do a stroked engine. So, all right, okay, I've got, what stroked cranks can I get? Got a stroked crank, 83.5, okay, what pistons have I got? Standard height. Ideally you want short height pistons or you have them machined. Um, so, mine's, mine's a, this is how I've ended up and this is, you know, how much can I make it work kind of job. But it's going to be interesting to see how it, uh, how it all pans out. Right, I should say goodbye.